Cody Alexander match quarters. We're going to look at this tape really quick, and it, it really exemplifies what the two-up player needs to do or the weak hook player in cover three. Now, if you've never heard of two-up, I do understand. I was talking to a coach uh, this past year about cover three, how they teach it, and this was one of the things that they made a point of. Everybody kind of understands the three-up mentality against three-by-one. Your weak hook defender has to take the vertical of three. That's what three-up is three means in the saving vernacular but what do you do when you get a two by two you have two seams and a strong hook player usually the strong hook player is going to be to the side of the back so what does that weak hook player have to do he has to get vertical now i wrote an article earlier with uh, about the browns and how their vertical hook player really got some depth during the preseason and how they really exemplified what cover three should look like in terms of teaching at the linebacker position so we're going to look at this clip and we're going to see how the weak hook defender in cover three gets depth and is able to cut off a vertical route. It's something that needs to be taught in the cover three and for linebackers pass distribution is one of the least taught things at the lower levels. Everybody focuses on run fits and block destruction but very few talk about how they can defend the pass. So doing so is of the utmost importance, especially when you're running cover three, you want to make sure that you can defend a vertical of three, especially when you get a three push and your vertical of two turns into the vertical of three. What does your two up defender have to do? Let's get into the film. We're going to take a look at a play in the Colts versus Texans game. Now we're going to watch the Texans defense. They are a dominant cover three defense. So we're going to get a lot of good shots. If you were uh, in, if you are a 49ers fan or watched any of the 49ers last year, this is D'Amico Ryans. He's a great coach. They had Fred Warner uh, who is an alien uh, and Greenlaw is also excellent. They had excellent cover three coverage. If And so the Texans do the same. They're one of the surprise teams in the NFL. So we want to watch, the weak hook defender now right now we have a three by one so once we get post snap we're going to see the tight end cross it is going to become a two by two so instead of thinking okay well i'm now just a weak hook and i'm just going to sit here you still have to understand that i am going to get some sort of a three push and this comes from the running back as the back works through the vertical he sees okay i do not have uh, i do not have run action so i don't need a fit you can see how he hinges open and climbs vertically your strong hook defender now is going to get his eyes on the back and he is going to push with the back and leverage in the strong hook we have our seam defender or our flat defender pushing underneath of number one so this is more of a zone match cover three instead of a man match sin rip list this is a great example though of how we can get on a double post or a y cross look i call this uh, i call this divide because that's essentially what they're doing they're dividing the the field into three of uh, being able to get that get that linebacker underneath of, underneath of this vertical a lot of times in two by two or if this guy were to come back and it creates a two by two set this guy kind of ends up zoning up kind of at 10 10 to 15 right right here uh, instead you can see that he is going to hinge open looking for the vertical coming from the passing strength so again the passing strength even though it is three by one if he were to move over here he would still have the similar technique as if it was three by one so here we get him coming across we see the tight end push he knows this guy's going to be first to first to fourth meaning he's going to be the first to flat or the fourth crosser we get obviously get a first to flat he's going to grab that so once he opens up understanding that he's going to continue to push out he's going to continue to push out it is his responsibility to now grab the vertical up and back and this is essentially what we get uh, as you can see Gardner Minshew doesn't have anywhere to go because we have stacked receiver stacked receiver and we have a stack on the the middle part of the field so this is again a great example of having your weak hook defender climb and get vertical in door in their hook drop especially in cover three when they are the weak hook you can do the exact same thing in quarters if they don't get a push flat he's got to get deep so if i am the weak hook defender and i don't have to honor the flat or I don't have to get to the flat, whether it's quarters or cover three, then I need to get vertical to cut off and support whoever is the middle of the field defender.
Cover three is one of those coverages that on paper looks really simple, but there are a lot more nuances to it. Just like in quarters that you have to kind of have tags and adjustments and techniques to be able to help uh, help players out against certain, certain route concepts, cover three is the exact same. And one of the key elements in any kind of zone cover three is that weak hook defender being able to get vertical. I heard a Rand to talk about it one time in a clinic. Uh, one of the most important elements of coverage is that vertical hook defender from the weak linebacker he's got to get deep and he's got to get vertical to help cut off routes now you can do a lot of different things on on defense especially in cover three to kind of mitigate the risk of verticals you can run kind of a weak rotation cross where the safety is actually the three up defender but on an early down against maybe a, a, a 12 personnel team or you get in a situation like the Colts where you know they're going to run on early downs and from certain looks you don't necessarily want to run the safety as the buzz defender you would rather just run a regular country cover three look and that's what we got in this clip the linebacker did an excellent job just like the 49ers linebackers did with ryan's they do the exact same thing with the texans and look the texans are a surprise team they're in the playoffs with a rookie quarterback and a rookie head coach who are doing a great job but this is a great example of a vertical hook defender. If you are a linebacker coach, make sure you are teaching your linebackers proper pass distribution.